Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Monday to us all. This is the day the Lord has made, so let us all rejoice and be glad in it. This is a new beginning to a new week, and we do thank God for touching us and tapping us on our shoulders this morning and telling us to arise. We welcome all callers this morning, those that are joining us for the very first time. We do welcome you. We welcome all of our Facebook Live family, all of the Facebook Live that is your first time joining us. We welcome you, and we do welcome those that will be joining us later, either via callback number, via Facebook Live, or via YouTube channel. We do not take it lightly that you decided to set aside 15 minutes of your time to go before the throne of grace. So we do thank you and we do welcome you. Today, the scripture reading is coming from James chapter 5, and I'm reading verses 7 through 11 in the Amplified Bible. Again, that's James chapter 5, and I'm reading verses 7 through 11 in the Amplified Bible. Before I go to the Word of God, our war cry focus for today is going to be patient. What is the meaning of patient? Able to accept or tolerate, able to accept or tolerate delays, problems, and suffering without becoming annoyed or anxious. I'm going to say that again. Able to accept or tolerate delays, problems, or suffering without becoming annoyed or anxious. And the King James Dictionary um, the King James Dictionary says patient means not easily provoked, calm under suffering of injuries or offenses, not revengeful, not easily provoked, calm under suffering of injuries or offenses, not revengeful. Let us go to the Word of God this morning, James chapter 5, verses 7 through 11, and it reads, So wait patiently, brothers and sisters, until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits expectedly for, for the precious harvest from the land, being patient about it, until it receives the early and the late rain. You, too, be patient, strengthen your hearts, Keep them energized and firmly committed to God because the coming of the Lord is near. Do not complain against one another, believers, so that you will not be judged for it. Look, the judge is standing right at the door. As an example, brothers and sisters, of suffering and patience, take the prophet's who spoke in the name of the Lord as his message and representatives. You know we call those blessed, happy, we, you know we call those blessed, happy, spiritually prosperous, favored by God, who were steadfast and endured difficult circumstances. You have heard of the patient endurance of Job. You have seen the Lord's outcome, how richly blessed, how he richly blessed, blessed Job. The Lord is full of compassion and is merciful. Dear gracious and eternal Father, we humbly come to you at this time to just thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your hedge of protection, O oh God. We thank you, Father God, that you tapped us on our shoulders and told us to arise, my daughter. Arise, my son. I still have work for you to do 
to do in the land of the living, Father God. Father God, we don't take it lightly that you tapped us on our shoulders, Father God. For no man knoweth the day nor the hour, Father God. We can be here today, Father God, and gone tomorrow, Father God. We can be here right now, Father God, and gone in the next minute, the next second, the next hour, Father God. So we thank you, Father God, for the gift of life, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for another day, Father God. Another day to get it right with you, Father God, first and foremost, Father God. Another day to get it right with our loved ones or whomever we may have trespassed, Father God. We thank you for this opportunity, Father God. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for being Alpha and Omega, Father God, the beginning and the end, the author and finisher of our faith, Father God. We thank you for being the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Lord and Savior over our lives, Father God. We thank you for being our Redeemer, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for just loving on us unconditionally, Father God, in spite of what we may have done, in spite of what we may have thought, in spite of what we may have said, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for your continuous love, Father God, that continuous love, Father God, that never runs dry, Father God. You are a daddy God, Father God, that loves us con- un- based Oh, it's not based on condition, Father God, but unconditional agape love. And for that, we say thank you this morning, Father God. We ask that you would forgive us this morning, Father God, for everything we may have thought, said, everything we may have thought, everything we may have done that was unpleasing in your sight, Daddy God. Won't you forgive us, Father God? Every word that came out of our mouths, Father God, that was not of you, Father God. Won't you forgive us today, Father God? Father God, why? Wash us, cleanse us, purge us with your hyssop, Father God. Create in us a clean heart this morning, Father God. Renew a right spirit within us this morning, Father God. Crucify this flesh this morning, Father God. For there is no good thing that dwelleth in this flesh, Father God. We thank you for the forgiveness of sin, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you remember them no more, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for convicting us and not condemning us, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you continue to love us through and through in spite of what we do, Father God. So for that, we say thank you this morning, Father God. Father God, we touch those this morning. We ask that you would touch those this morning, Father God, that are mourning the loss of a loved one, Father God. Father God, it's not easy to lay one of your loved ones to rest, Father God. So I'm asking this morning, Father God, that you would wrap your loving arms around them, Father God. Touch their mind, touch their hearts, touch their soul, Father God. 
progress. So, Daddy God, help us to be patient with one another. Help us to be patient with ourselves, Father God. Often we get we are so hard on ourselves, Daddy God, when we just need to have a little bit of patience. Daddy God, we do thank you. We do praise you, and we do honor you, and we do adore you, Daddy God. We thank you for your word, oh God. We thank you, Father God, and we declare and we decree that we will be patient, not annoyed, or anxious in the waiting process. So wait patiently, brothers and sisters, until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits expectedly for the precious harvest from the land, being patient about it until it receives the early and late rains. You too be patient. Strengthen your hearts. Keep them energized and firmly committed to God because the coming of the Lord is near. Do not complain against one another, believers, so that you will not be judged for it. Look, the judge is standing right at the door. As an example, brothers and sisters, of suffering and patience, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord as his messenger, as representatives. You know we call those blessed, happy, spiritually prosperous, favored by God, who were steadfast and endured difficult circumstances. You have heard of the patient endurance of Job, and you have seen the Lord's outcome. How richly he blessed Job. The Lord is full of compassion and is merciful. Be patient with your fellow sisters and brothers. Be patient with your current situation, your current circumstances. Endure the tour, and God will bless us all. Have a wonderful, blessed Monday. Enjoy your day today and love on somebody else as God has already created someone to love on you. And remember, when you start to feel anxious or annoyed, check to see if you are being patient. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Amen.